Hello Rocket Troops and welcome back to the HQ Admin Shade here with yet another UU battle this time against Raphael aka Dereal from the stream. If you've not checked out our stream yet, why not? What are you even doing? Give us a follow on Twitch so that way you'll be notified the next time we go live. Also, keep up with us on Twitter so that way you can see our videos we post on YouTube every single day and also when we go live on Twitch and all other Rocket news. So without further ado, let me go ahead and talk about my team, uh, Raphael's team, and we'll jump in into the battle. So, my team is not that much different. Um, probably from my other videos that you've seen here with my UU team, um, it would probably help out um, if I actually talked a little bit about why I chose the Pokemon I did. Um, I'm actually bringing Zorark this time, which is a little different from my other battles. So, um, okay, let me go ahead and just talk about my Pokemon in general. My team building process with singles is kind of interesting. It's kind of different um, from how some people build teams. Um, I'm starting to build teams differently now, but this is um, this team here is kind of more of an example of how I um, kind of built teams prior to this. So, um, as you can see, I have two walls, I have two sweepers, and I actually have two things. One's more utility, and the other is actually more of a tank Pokemon. So let me go ahead and break that down for you. So first with Glade, that is my tank Pokemon. I have an Assault Vest on that, so that way it can take hits, but it can also dish out some hits as well. I gave it Power Up Punch, so that way not only uh, is it heavily defensive vested, but it can also, through getting um, attacked with maybe with Foul Play or um, anything like that, any kind of Dark type attack, my attack gets raised because of Justified. Also, the Power Up Punch will raise my attack set. So um, though I am heavily defensive vested, that does not mean I can't be offensive. So that's kind of what being tank is all about. Um, obviously, Darmanitan is a very strong physical sweeper. Um, this one actually runs, I believe I have a, um, I definitely have a choice scarf on this one, so it is meant to be just a very fast physical sweeper, just clean up the field, um, kind of be a revenge killing Pokemon really, because it'll be able to outspeed most threats and be able to deal with that, just get it out of the way. Um, next up is Crobat. Now, Crobat's more utility. This one's bulkier, it has a defense investment um, that's kind of interesting. Um, it's used for uh, hazard removal as well with the defog and it can do some really interesting things as well because I carry um, Super Fang on it so it can stall break effectively if given the opportunity. So that's kind of what my Crobat is all about. It's more utility based, more support based. Uh, next up I have a strong physical wall in Melodic so that's kind of what I wanted. I just want something that can be able to take hits from most common threats in UU that I can see. Uh, most of that being, seeing as I like Breloom's not a thing in UU, um, some of the more bigger threats would be like Flygon, um, just any kind of like Dragon Poke or really anything that wants to throw a physical hit. Um, Melodic can take very, very well if given the opportunity. Um, next up I have Zorark. Now Zorark, uh, this would normally kind of be filled um, by a special sweeper. I mean, this Zorark obviously is a special sweeper, but um, my Zorark I have on this team just so I can maybe um, fake somebody out if I have the chance. So uh, most of the time I actually run this alongside my Dusclops um, because I'm, since I'm a ghost obviously fighting types aren't going to throw a move at me if they think that I'm ghost because that doesn't make any sense. So I'll be able to maybe even set up with my Zora because I carry sub on it and nasty plot. So that's the idea there. And last but absolutely not least is my mascot Pokemon which is a Dusclops. And um, I use Dusclops so that way it can take any kind of special hit thrown at me and also I can just whittle down any kind of Pokemon. What I like about my Dusclops is most of the time whenever I throw something out, it takes something down with it. Um, so that's very beneficial as well, and Dusclops actually has a great match against Raphael this time. So let me go ahead and talk about Raphael's team, and we'll jump into the battle without further ado. So there's the Chandelure, which I'm a little bit worried about. Um, obviously a big threat for my Gallade. Um, could probably one-shot my Gallade, depending on what kind of um, Chandelure it is. So next up there is the... Um, beautiful Roserade, which actually is a big threat um, against my Melodic, uh, seen as how my Melodic is in fact um, physically defensive. It cannot even remotely take a Leaf Storm or a uh, Grass Knot or whatever this thing wants to throw at me, so I have to try to play around that. I do have threats that can take it out, however, in Crobat and also Darmanitan. So um, then there's this uh, Weezing, which is actually kind of problematic for my team. I don't have anything that um, is able to hurt it remotely, especially because um, Weezing has some excellent typing. I'm um, not really excellent typing, but like typing plus ability, I guess I should say, with the Levitate. So it actually has decent coverage. Um, I have to play around that in a certain way with this battle, but um, most of the time people run Weezing's, I think, 
uh, physically defensive, so I'm gonna have to keep that in mind as well. So then there's the Machamp, which I've seen in other battles. Um, Machamp is something that's often used by people in UU, seen as how, um, I think most people throw Assault Vest on it, because it kind of functions as a somewhat less bulky, less powerful Conk Elder, maybe. Um, it's kind of what people use it for, knockoff utility, stuff like that. Then there's this Porygon 2, which I love Porygon 2. It's a fantastic wall if you're looking for one, EV Light wall. So um, I'm trying to, uh, with this battle, maybe use the Glade for knockoff is what I was thinking in team preview. So that was kind of my reasoning there. Also, I could switch in Duskops if I absolutely had to to try to take this thing out. Um, then last but not least is the bane of my existence in UU in Toxicroak. Toxicroak has the unique ability to either set up, um, it can take um, Scalds from my Melodic because that is dry skin. So Melodic uh, like just doesn't really function that well against it because uh, Scald is my only attacking move on my Melodic. So it is effectively you know, able to just kind of sidestep my defensive core, which is kind of problematic, but I'm able to kind of work around that in this game. So without further ado, let's jump into this battle so that way I don't put anyone to sleep. Wake up, wake up, if you're sleeping. Wake up, I don't know what this little clap was. I don't know if that's supposed to wake anybody up. Um, anyway, let's get this battle started. Everyone, thank you so much for tuning in today. Make sure you give this video a like if you get the opportunity. So I lead off with my Gallade and he actually leads off with the bane of my existence, Toxicroak, and immediately withdraws Toxicroak, which I thought was kind of interesting to just do right off the get-go, but he was obviously predicting a, either a power-up punch, because I have been using Glade in other matches during the stream, or maybe he was just expecting a drain punch, either one. And actually it goes for uh, Chandelier here, and evades my uh, attack, which was very nice. And then the Chandelier goes for the burn and absolutely gets it, but I do get the knockoff off. Knockoff off, so... That's definitely good, and um, I actually get burned, obviously, from that Willow, and I'm just not doing nearly as much damage as I was, but I'm just going to keep chilling in here against this Chandelure, because I'm on, I'm really surprised that it hasn't hurt me yet. I would definitely think that this thing would have um, Shadow Ball or something like that, so after I see all these hacks, um, like Confuse Ray, I definitely think that he probably has Hex or something like that to back himself up. And I actually get confused, I'm burning alive, and I'm also punching myself in the face because I'm confused, so that's great. So, um, Glade is effectively not doing anything, but I go for the Shadow Sneak here, I actually hit through the confusion, which is very nice. Um, but absolutely not enough to kill a Chandelier, with the, the burn really, really plays a role in that. So, he hexes me like I thought he probably would and takes out my Glade, which I'm okay with. I, I, I didn't see Glade doing that much in this battle to tell you the absolute truth. So, then I send out my Dusclops here, <laughs> and I actually go for the Dark Pulse. This is obviously um, <clears throat> my Zorark, so I'm able to take out the Shandy, and he actually stayed in because either he was sacking it and knew that that's what I was going for, or he was going to be greedy and try to uh, hurt my Dusclops. So here I actually switch out my um, Dusclops Zorark, and I actually switch in my actual Dusclops, um, expecting some kind of fighting type move from this Toxic Croak, but instead Raphael does the awesome play of setting up with Swords Dance. So um, that was interesting. I actually uh, sent in Dusclops kind of like in a previous battle when I faced a Toxic Croak, expecting possibly a sub. I wasn't quite sure. So here I just go for the curse, so that way I can whittle down this Toxic Croak, just try to, you know, whittle it down because honestly, like Toxic Croak is decent against my team. I. I play around Toxicroak very badly. I think everybody has those kind of Pokemon that you just don't play that well against, to be honest. And I switch in my Crobat here, thinking maybe he'd try to set up again, seeing as how like my Dusclops was going to be doing too much. Um, I'm not really sure, but he goes for the Poison Jab against my Crobat, which doesn't do too, too much, and I'm actually able to... Um, I mean, I think I'd be able to probably go for a Brave Bird here, but instead I'm unfortunately Sucker Punched, and he smacks me right in the face. I probably could have played around that by going for the Roost. But um, I was actually kind of scouting as well to see if he had the Sucker Punch, and unfortunately he did, and it was boosted, and it murdered my face. So <laughs> um, It's all good, it is taking the curse damage here, and at this point I definitely don't think that he has um, sub or anything like that for me to worry about. And so I kind of just switch in uh, Darwin, my Darmanitan, my darn Manitan, and I just kind of take it out because Darmanitan's kind of my revenge killer, just, you know, get it out of, just get it out of my face, kind of. Um, so that's kind of why I have Darmanitan on my team. It is fulfilling its function, as I kind of uh, talked about at the beginning of this battle. So then the Weezing switches in, and again, I don't have that great of uh, 
answers for this wheezing, so this is where Dusclops kind of starts getting on a roll here. Um, with my Frisk, I see it has Rocky Helmet, so it's definitely meant to be a wall. And it carries the Thunderbolt, which isn't going to do anything at all to my Dusclops, because I am specially invested, as I said before. And so I'm keeping, I'm keeping that in mind, honestly, because I have Mirror Coat on my Melodic. I was thinking that during the battle. I'm like, maybe I could try to uh, make that work if I could switch in my Melodic against the Wheezy. Maybe he would think I forgot or something. So here I go for the Pain Split, and I'm able to um, get some health from that Porygon, which is very nice. I almost go back up to full health. But then he uh, Toxics me, which is unfortunate. And I try to go for the Toxic, but it avoids. So it's hacks. We got to live with them. It's part of the RNG. Not much we can do. So at this point, he takes the Porygon out. So that way um, he can switch in Young Moolah, baby, and maybe try to hurt my Dusclops more. Maybe he was predicting a switch, I'm not really sure. So I go for um, Curse here, so that way I can try to whittle this thing down at least a little bit more um, and try to cause some damage, because if I can get this Weezing out of the way, you know, that'd be great. So he actually decides to switch back out because he doesn't want Curse. He doesn't want the Weezing, obviously doesn't want the Weezing out of the way this early in the match. And this is where Dusclops is cool, because even though he doesn't stay in with the curse and I'm not able to pain split again, what I do do, do 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 do, oh man, shade, <laughs> I actually just go for the pain split on the Pokemon he does bring in. So curse can scare people out and also prompt you to go for a pain split anyway. So it's actually mutually beneficial, um, definitely some good synergy between those moves. The Porygon 2 goes for the recover, gets a lot of health back. Um, which is somewhat problematic, but you know, I have Pain Split, I'm chilling, it's all good. And I go for the Toxic, so I'm able to Toxic the Porygon too. Um, this is more of the stallier part of the match, but um, honestly, this is where Dusclop shines. It's able to switch into th certain things and, um, you know, shuffle a team around and get somebody flustered, and that's kind of the goal, really. Um, able to get that Toxic off, able to get the Weezing out. Um, Dusclops is a very good utility wall if you um, want my honest opinion. So then I switch in Darmanitan here because I do have um, superpower on it. And I thought maybe it would be enough to kill Porygon too. I was wrong because I run mine specially defensive, but that doesn't mean everybody does. And so he must run his uh, differently because I think normally that would Oko. So he goes ahead and goes for the Tri Attack, which does a decent amount of damage. I was actually really disappointed that it did not kill with the superpower. Um, but the toxic damage that I was able to get off with Dusclops finishes it off. So um, Dusclops is being remembered in this battle. So then I get the Darmanitan out of there because again, you know, this Weezing, I'm not going to be doing much unless I'm able to whittle it down at least a little bit. So he goes for the Thunderbolt and I switch him Melodic. Now he does a, you know, not that much damage to be honest. I'm, I'm, even if, um, you know, I'm not going to be taking that much damage with this Melodic, I'm not worried about it. So I go for Mirror Coat here, as you can see, um, I get the negative priority from Mirror Coat. And he hits me, you know, not really that hard at all, but I'm able to just reflect that right back and smack him in the face with his own power. And uh, yeah, I'm just kind of sitting pretty here, and then I outspeed, obviously, and go for the Scald and kill this Weezing. So that is kind of what I was looking for there. Melodic is a decent answer to Weezing, to be perfectly honest, because of most Weezings carry Thunderbolt and also Flamethrower, I think, to deal with Steel and stuff like that. So um, that was not bad at all. And then the Roserade comes out. So this is where things get very problematic because I don't really have anything that wants to switch into a Roserade with a Leaf Storm or whatever it is this thing has. So it actually goes for a Giga Drain here. And I was thinking maybe Darmanitan would be able to live it, but I am unfortunately very wrong. And Darmanitan goes down. Now, I don't know what kind of Roserade this could be. Roserade is a very interesting uh, sweeper. It can have Assault Vest, even. I've seen Focus Sash. I run mine with Focus Sash. Uh, it, this one's obviously not orbed, but, I mean, Roserade has a lot of unique um, niches in UU. I definitely think it's a really cool Pokemon to have. I go for the sub here with Zoroark, just thinking, you know, maybe he would try to set up, maybe he'd even try to go for a Sleep Powder or whatever it is that Rose Raid gets, I can't remember, and I'd be able to avoid that, but I'm unfortunately not that lucky. But I am kind of lucky because I go for the Dark Pulse with Zoroark, get the Flinch, which was very lucky, and I actually go for a second Dark Pulse here, just on the off chance he stayed in, and I get yet lucky, I get yuck, <laughs> I get yucky yet again, I get lucky yet again, and get the um, critical hit against this Hitmonchan, or Machamp I mean. So then I go for the uh, Focus Blast and do a decent amount more damage, and he goes ahead and hits me with a Fire Punch, which does, eh, I mean, it does way too much damage, but then 
I'm like, maybe I could actually kill this thing, but then the bullet punch. So I definitely think this is a salt vest um, Machamp just by looking at it, especially because it has all these elemental punches for coverage. I would definitely think that it is, um, in fact, salt vest, but I could be wrong. So I just go for a Scald to get this Machamp out of here. Um, again, Melodic coming through in the clutch. But unfortunately, Melodic is my last poke. And unfortunately, his last poke is that Roserade. So I wasn't able to play around uh, Roserade the way I wanted to and kill it with Crobat. There were too many other things that I was trying to do during the course of the battle. Too many things I was trying to worry about that I did not play effectively around that. So that was my bad, but a very good game. Um, he definitely deserved... Ooh, look, there's my cursor. Yeah. <laughs> um, he was actually able to play around it very well. Uh, great game, Raphael uh, Dereal. Uh, we'll have to battle again soon. That was an awesome UU battle, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like this video, please give it a like. Also, leave some comments down below. I'm trying to think of maybe something, a giveaway or something like that I can do based on comments. So give me some ideas. If you think that maybe I could give away a Pokemon based on the people that comment in some kind of raffle, maybe I could even give away a full team like this that I have, just give my whole team away. Uh, let me know what you guys think I should do, but that's actually all I have for this UU battle, guys. Stay tuned, check out the rest of my playlist if you have not done so already, and all the other awesome videos we have on Rocket HQ. But this is Admin Shade, signing- Admin Sh I can't talk, I can't talk. Admin Shade, signing off for Rocket HQ.